In the last video, you learned how to enable and disable read-only for the data grid view. So you can make it so that people can either edit directly right on the data grid view or they have to edit only in the fields. And for security reasons, it's probably better for your average user to actually edit only one field at a time rather than accidentally double-clicking something and changing it on the fly. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create a little series on how to show, say, the data card uh, history or the information for the history of each of the users. So they would be linked up for the resident and the resident key card. But first, what I want to do is I want to remove the resident ID. And the reason for that is because I don't really want people to be able to edit an ID. That should be auto-generated when it comes into play. So next what we need to do is we need to actually create a form. So come over here underneath your database application, right click on it. Of course you can go up into file and do this as well, but I like to right click and then click on add Windows form. And then what do we want to name it? Let's call it key card. And now we have a new form, just like we had with our first form. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to drag our, just like the resident data grid view, let's make sure that it's in a data grid, which it is, so it's in a data grid. Drag it on over to the form. Let's lock the window to it. And this time we're going to actually lock it top, right, bottom, left, all the way around. So let's go down to anchor. or I'm going to actually sort by alphabetic, alphabetical, so find the anchor. Let's match that all the way around. We won't be able to see this form until we actually generate it. And in the next video, we'll continue with this on how to click on a button and load all the data into it.